Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone by Shem Rakakwadash. My name is Yakalba from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. This is uh, Washington Post, Pat Robinson. He used to be, I used to watch this guy when I was like 10, 10 years old, him and a couple other people, him and I think his wife was on there too. 700 Club. He's a televangelist, um, Pat Robertson. And apparently he's saying, uh, Pat Robertson says Putin was compelled by God to invade Ukraine to fulfill Armageddon prophecy. Now the article's getting on him about him making previous prophecies and they're not coming to pass. We can read down, the link it being in the description box. Um, now... Televangelist Pat Robinson said Monday that Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin was compelled by God in his decision to invade Ukraine, suggesting that Russia attacks are a precursor to an end times battle in Israel. But he's, he's, uh, he's right, you know, but it's going to be uh, in different lands. You know, Ukraine is just um, it's provocation. For them to set up uh, with more military bases, get more control of the area, and to control you know, resources in the area. Right. Um, from the 700 Club, Mogul, yeah, this is like the first televangelist I watched when I was a, about 10 years old, about 10 to 14. Then I found out about Israel after that. Uh, 55 years of Christian broadcasting. I think you can say, well, uh, Putin's out of his mind. Yes, maybe so. So Rob is in 91. Maybe he's old John Williams. But at the same time, he's being compelled by God. He went into Ukraine, but that wasn't his goal. His goal was to move against Israel ultimately. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's referring to Ezekiel 38, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Go down. It says, uh, it's hardly the first time. So they're trying to, I guess, slander him, I guess. Which, I guess rightfully so, I guess. It's hardly the first time uh, Robertson, a former Republican presidential candidate, has claimed that the end of the world was near. The televangelist stated his audience in 1980 when he told them he knew exactly when the end was to come. I guarantee you by the end of 1982, there's going to be a judgment on the world. Robertson, so I don't know what judgment he was talking about. I don't, I, he, I don't believe he said nuclear war, but uh, Robertson said at the time, but 1982 came and went without the judgment Robertson referenced. So what, they're not clear what he exactly said. I'm sure a lot of things happened in 1982. In 1983, 84, 85. All right. So they're trying to slander him and say, well, his prophecy didn't come to pass. All right. So you come to the prophets who give you correct information. So if I'm not mistaken, he's talking about Ezekiel 38 where it says, uh, like this one right here. Uh, people prepared. Um, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And thus, and say, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against thee, Gog, O chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So the Lord is saying, the Most High is saying that he is against uh, Gog and Magog, which are today known as the Russians. All right. Now you go down to, now the Russians are Edomites. Right? The land here, it's Japheth's land, but the Edomites inhabit that land. So when Ezekiel saw the vision, he saw the Edomites coming from the land of Japhet. All right. So Ezekiel's calling them uh, Gog and Magog. All right. Because you get called after the name that you're in. All right. Or the, you get a spiritual name, biblically. All right. Access of guard. All right, as you get 38 and 8, and after many days, thus shall be visited in the latter years, thus shall come 
thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel. All right. Which have always been waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely at all of them. All right. Now, this is referring to the elect of Israel. All right. All right. It's referring to the elect of Israel is going to dwell safely, but the actual land, the Russians are going to go into the land. Thou shalt descend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, though, and all thy bands and many people with thee. Right, thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And thou shalt say, I will go into the land of Omar. Thus, so this is America right here, Babylon, America. Right, up here is referring to the land of Israel. All right. But the, but the elect of Israel, not, not every Israelite is going to be safe, but the elect of Israel are going to be safe. All right. That are here in America and that are over in the land of Israel. If they're of the elect, they are going to be safe. But the point here is that they'll shall descend and come like a storm, though shall come like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands. So that's more than likely what Pat Robinson is referring to. All right, and um, right here says, it says, uh, we'll see where she precursor and battle. Okay, televangelist Pat Robinson said Monday that Russian President Vladimir, Vladimir Putin was compelled by God in his decision to invade Ukraine, suggesting that Russia's attack are a mere precursor to an end times battle in Israel five times all right so I think you can say well Putin is out of his mind yes maybe so that Robinson said Robinson 91 but at the same time he's going he's compelled by God uh, he went into Ukraine but that wasn't his goal his goal was to move against Israel ultimately. All right. He says, suggesting that um, Ukraine is a staging ground all right, where you're going to have ro wars and commotions. So that's what Ukraine is. And they dare there for, you know, resources and do a front against uh, NATO to keep a, a space between the uh, mutually assured destruction. All right. Because it's not mutually assured destruction if your missiles are much more closer, even though they still already are, much more, well, I guess it's referring to NATO, is much more closer than, um, than your missiles are to them. So one missile would get toward the other one faster than the other, than the other guys. All right. Um, going this move now. It says, uh, he went on to say, I'm starting from here, how the area that indicates includes Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey is going to be mobilized against Israel in the latter days. So, now I think he may be talking about the guard. So, they, 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 they know certain scriptures, you know. House of Tor Gomer and Torgama, I believe that's what he's talking about. Alright. Gomer. And Tor Torgama this is, uh Turkey and Bulgaria I forget which one is which you can look it up but I'm almost certain that's, that's what Pat this guy's talking about so, the retired televangelist right there let's go right alright he says without evidence wow uh, on Monday Robinson again indicated that the end of the world was near thanks to Putin and Russia although Turkey has issued a statement of support for Ukraine and is not backing Russia's invasion it don't matter if he's not backing Russia's invasion Germany wasn't was going to stay out of it then they, then they decided to send weapons to Ukraine they can, people just change their mind it tells you that in Obadiah that all the nations of thy confederacy had deceived thee and brought thee to the border so we're going to get that real quick all right, then I'll close the lesson out. Well, I got a uh, revelation also. Without evidence, the evidence is the Bible. 
No, Pat Roberts is, is, is Satan incarnate, but uh, he's right. But without evidence, the evidence is, is the scriptures. They don't have to agree right now. They're going to agree later. Without evidence that Turkey would come together with Russia, he went on to say, well, what does the prophecy say? Gomer and all the bands of the house of Torgama of the north quarters and all the bands and many people with them. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So they are going to join together. All right. So this link will be in the description box. You know, brothers that do videos can do your own videos. I heard about this a couple days ago. Well, I think the first, right? This is printed the first. Yeah, March March first. Today's the third. All right, let it marinate for a couple of days. All right. Uh. So Pat Robinson is right in this respect. All right. His time might be off, but he's right. All right. Let's see, uh, Romans, uh, Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, all right, America, and out of the mouth of the beast, the EU, powers, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, which is, is starting with the Roman Catholic Church. You have the other religions under it. All right. For they are the spirits of devils, so they're all possessed with demons, all right, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to battle of the great day of Yahweh Elohim for Yahweh Almighty alright alright so these three are going to be pushing for war and performing miracles alright for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and to the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of our, of God Almighty. And I want to hear a statement from the Roman Catholic Church. You know, they try to they did they're liars. You know, what they what, behind closed doors, no matter what they say, they they actually want to go to war because the prophecy says so. So they're going to work miracles and they're getting they're gathering to the battle of Armageddon. All right, all three. All right. Behold, I come as a thief, blesses he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. All right. And that's what, uh, letting not the word of the Lord depart out of thy mouth. All right. And he gathered, uh, Joshua, the first chapter, and he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue, Harmageddon or Harmagadwan. All right. The mountains of the troops. Look, at, look that up. It says Harmagaddon. It was Harmagaddon in the Hebrew. Yahar is mountain or valley. No, mountain or hill. Mountain or hill. And Magadwan, which means troops. The assemble gathered together or mountain of assembly mountain of troops all right they're going to be assembled into what into a troop into an army or a mountain of armies gathered together in crowds place of crowds it's the place of the gathering of the troops harmagadwan har magadwan or a gathering of the troops all right so what did I say I was going to get? I forgot the scripture I was going to get. Oh, Ob Obadiah. 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 All right. So he's saying, oh, he can't be right. All right. He's telling the truth in this manner, but he, he is a false prophet. But in this respect, he's telling the truth about, uh, he said, B Bulgaria, Turkey, something like that. Yeah, Turkey, Gomer. These are, uh, I'm not sure about Gomer, Bulgaria, but Turkey is a NATO ally, and they're going to turn against the whore. They're going to turn against the um, the dragon. All right. The beast is going to turn against the dragon. All right. And Turkey is a part of that beast. All right. Uh, Obadiah said. Let's see what. Let's see, Armageddon. 
And the scene of struggle of good and evil is suggested by the Battle of the Plain of Esdraelon, which was famous for two great victories. All right. It's going to be over there in the, in the so-called Middle East. So, Obadiah, OBD, says, uh, all Obadiah 1 and 7, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread, okay, which is, uh, they get, um, they get to the trade, they get aid, a certain amount of money per year. All right. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under me. It's like it has laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. All right, confederacy. So he said they gave, uh, he gave no proof that Turkey was going to join Russia. All the men of that confederacy. We have Bar Barayath of thy confederacy. We have Barayath Ka of thy confederacy. An alliance. So NATO is an alliance. All right. Starting with America, which is the head and the the most um contrib the, the the foremost contributor, if I'm not mistaken, and the most powerful of the all, all the allies. So because of that, they're they're technically the head, even though they're supposed to be all you know equal and all that crap. But we know the real thing. We know the real deal. Whose pomp was more stout than his fellow? Constitution, an agreement, a pledge. All right. So in that respect, Pat Robinson is right. It says, uh, although Turkey has issued a statement of support for Ukraine and is not backing Russia's invasion, Robinson claimed without evidence that Turkey would come together with Russia. He went on to say how the great, how the area that includes Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey is going to be mobilized against Israel in the latter days. All right. So yeah, he was speaking about Ezekiel 38. Gomer and Torgama in the north quarters, the north quarters of the north quarters, and all his bands, his army and allies, and many people with them. Be thou prepared. And it says, uh, thou, shalt, thou shalt descend and come like a storm, thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Went the land of Israel. All right. Uh, says, um, Ezekiel 38, 9, and thou shalt ascend and come like a storm, and thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. So this is referring to the land of Israel being destroyed, being incinerated. And we look up storm. The word there is... Uh, Shoah. Let's see. Storm. Shoah. Or Kashoah. Worthless vanity. Oh, shit. It's not the proper definition. It says Shoah is destruction. Waste. Destruction. It, it, this doesn't mean a, a, like a storm, a, to like a snowstorm, like a windstorm. Devastation, ruin, waste. Devastation, ruin. Ruin, waste of the land. All right? That's why Pat Robinson said that because he knows the meaning of these words, you know? he's a, Again, he's a false prophet. But this a specific thing that he's saying is right. He's right on the point. And I don't know. And, well, he believed the so-called Jews that he, uh, <laughs> are the uh, people. He think they're going to dwell safely. No, that's referring to the elect of Israel that are going to dwell safely. But when the Russians, Gog and Magog, where we at? Come on the land of Israel like a storm, all right? That land is going to be destroyed. Right? And they're going to shoot their nuclear fire on the land of Israel. Gog and Magog, devastation, ruin, waste, ravage. To cause severe and extensive damage to all right 
Shawa. All right. So that's a little bit more of understanding on that precept, Ezekiel 38. So I hope you edify it. Shalom.